Hello, everyone, and welcome to our pineapple prepared three ways virtual cooking class. I am Charlotte. Joining me as my co-pilot, my host, co-host, my friend, Scott Topkins. Hey, uh, so excited to be here. Oh, hey, uh, quick, uh, some, some housekeeping yes. oh, before housekeeping. we get started. Okay. Uh, just know, if you're first time watching this on YouTube, don't forget, you can always go to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash HB, and check out all the fantastic past episodes of everything. Fast forward, rewinds, watch as many times as you want. So many great guest stars, so many great things going on. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte, will you pick up those fantastic Triton containers? These Did Triton you containers? know? Uh, if you're watching from Facebook, oh, uh, welcome. Uh, we have shoppable content available on Facebook. So if you clicked on those Triton storage containers, it'll take you to the power of the interweb and the magic of computer isms Wizardry? that will <laughs> that will allow you to purchase that item. You can cook along with Charlotte. All right, uh, we're so happy you're here, Charlotte. I'm ready to around. learn pineapple three different ways. Yes, go three ways. Okay, so we did some research and we were like. We need some ideas for some classes. And we were like, what's a trending thing? And turns out people want to know about pineapples. Turns out I know a lot about pineapples. So I said, I will do a class about cooking with pineapples. And I will show people that pineapples are not just for pina coladas and fruit salad. They are actually for um, marinades and salsas and desserts. So alas, here we are. And we're going to do pineapples three ways. And the three recipes that we are doing today are going to be an al pastor style taco with some pork tenderloin. So we're going to utilize the bromelain in the pineapple um, to marinate and break down some of those proteins in that pork. We're going to do a grilled pineapple and feta relish, which is absolutely wonderful. So the sweetness of the pineapple and the saltiness of the feta is absolutely amazing. Um, but we're going to grill that pineapple and caramelize some of the sugars on the outside. And then last, but certainly not least, um, one of my personal favorites is the pineapple bar. So it's very much like a um, sort of any sort of like fruit bar, right? But we are going to utilize the sweet tropical the tastiness of um, the pineapple. To I like everything flavor. that you just yeah. said. Uh, true I'm, story. Yeah. You said uh, we tried, you're looking for inspiration for these classes. Yeah. Uh, I did pitch a pottery class, Charlotte, you and did. I want you to know I don't know anything about pottery, so that was shot down pretty yeah. quick. Very I'm quickly, hopeful in the future, though, quickly. we'll get that yes. class off the ground. Well, you know, after your, you know, clay pinch pot 101. Yeah, I'll I'll figure it out. Yeah, it's, it's like everything. This and then, and then, anyway, okay. <laughs> See, that's already you're so, already. That's already um, too alas, advanced. The, that class didn't work out. So the first thing I thought that we should do in our pineapple class is talk about how to pick a good pineapple, right? Um, tons of pineapples all over the place, and you see people like, how do I know if the pineapple is good? And you see people like doing the thing where they pull the leaf, right? And you see the people where they pick it up and they look at the color. Um, the best way that I know how to pick a pineapple is to pick it up and to smell it. And if it smells like lovely ladies lying on the beach, you're good to go, all right? If it smells like that tropical paradise, it is good to go. If it smells fermented, past its prime, right? If there's no smell at all, you could still totally eat it. It's just gonna be a little bit more acidic, a little bit more firm. Um, and won't have that like really, really deep tropical note, but you know what? You can still eat it, all right? So, Tom Kids, how did I do on that? How do I you smell, uh, no, I like that. You said lovely ladies on the beach, smells like that. I thought about like, I'm like, so like sunburn and. <laughs> so it smells like co coconuts and. Oh, okay, okay, that's, that makes, all right, sweetness. All right, uh, I get you. Also, I'm, I'm did with you know you. that the pineapple is the international sign of hospitality? I did know that. Okay. Uh, did I, I like okay. to pick my pineapple. I actually smell the underneath root, yeah. and if it smells musty, then it smells like it may be a little too ripe. I always kind of go like for baby, exactly what you said. a baby, you pick it up and you're like, nope, yeah, well, that's, nope. How, that's how, you know, so many <laughs> things. That's how we're trained, right? You just pick up the, uh, exactly. I pick up, if you smell a little bit of okay. sweetness, you're good. But if you yeah. don't really smell much, then it may be a little underripe. But that's still, okay, they're though. all still good. It's all right, you can still eat it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to butcher a pineapple, right? So um, we say this all the time, so we've got the top and we've got the tail. So this is the part where it's stuck to the plant. This is the flowering part, right? So top, tail. Um, really easy, you just take this guy and we're just gonna cut the top off like this, look. You don't like to, to pull, like pluck, no, I like to turn, to do, turn and pluck. An extra step, I don't need that, right? So to reveal its yellow flesh on the inside, I'm gonna turn it around and do the same thing on the back. Do you know they ripen from the bottom up? Did you know that? Yes, if you want to turn it, you can flip it over upside yeah. down to uh, help it ripen faster. Oh, yes, you can um, turn a pineapple upside down to help it ripen faster. All right, so now we've got two flat edges. We've got this great cylinder, this pillar. I lay this um, on top of my cutting board, and you can see 
there's sort of like different kind of rings. So inside we've got the really woody core. Um, we've got some sort of porous flesh. And then we have these eyes right here. The and that's eyes. what we want to cut off. Like that's kind of like eating, you know, also, Not if, you're, if you are watching on Facebook and YouTube and you're watching Charlotte right now about yes. to butcher this, just know at HEB we sell about five different tools that'll show you how to peel also, there's that. a watermelon. Uh, not watermelon. That's not a watermelon. That's a pineapple. That's a different Sounds class. like that's a totally different show. Sorry. I'm All looking. Right. I'm so not paying attention. So what you're going to do is you see these little eyes right here. You're going to take your knife and you're going to start with an eye. And the guys, the, the eyes sort of kind, they, they grow in a spiral. Um, and typically what you do is you kind of cut at an angle, but you don't have to. It's how they taught us how to do it in the old culinary school. But, um, or if you were like working at like, you know, a cruise ship or a grand buffet where you had to do pineapple art, they'd want you to cut them in a certain way. But basically you slice off that hard outer rind and you reveal more of these eyes. And then you just take your knife, you start at the top, Charlotte, didn't you just, you just said all that about culinary school. Can you go ahead and make us a swan? We would like a to have swan. a pineapple swan. I will make you swan a pineapple swan. Because you, yes. I know that you have the art, artistic flair to yes. make a swan. And then you just continue to cut down, starting behind those eyes, cutting down, and then you just sort of keep going. Maybe just a baby swan then. A baby swan? Make me a bicycle clown. <laughs> I love, I do love a... Uh, <laughs> I really do love pineapple. Uh, I love it. There's certain times like I love it. tropical fruit season in summer, like, you know, coming into those, you know, we have to pay with the heat, obviously, but there's so many great fruits that come into season. Yes. And they're all amazing. And they're kind of like all that refreshing cocktail. Look at that. Look how perfect right? that is. Okay. So now we've got this nice, clean pineapple, right? We still have the core. So now we're going to cut this into along the prime meridian and the equator to reveal four equal quadrants. So you got your north, south, east, right? west. So we got, right? And then on the inside, I don't know how well y'all can see, but I can see it. Really well. You can well. still see that fibrous core, right? So we're going to take this, cut straight down, or you can lay it on its side like this, and you just follow with your knife carefully. So that little kind of like yeah, right? tougher This is piece. like fiber. It's fibrous. It's like chewing on like sticks right the stuff gets in your mouth it's not really that awesome however you can save it and make like a really cool simple syrup or an infused vinegar or something like that lots of pineapple right? flavor in that compost it whatever all right so we're just going to trim out that stuff that doesn't taste so good mm. now also we need to say uh okay. at your local hb you can also find pineapple uh not only canned but you can also find it fresh you can find yeah. it cut in uh, literally in planks, spears, spears uh, chunks, circles, rings, chunks, whatever, rings. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's all, all kinds. Right. So from here, you can do a myriad of different things. Right. We could just kind of, we could cut it like this, just like so. That's how I like to go because you know you can throw it in your, you know, your water or your cocktail like this, or and then you can like, oh look, and kind of fan it however you want to do it there, or you could um, do the old skewer look for kebabs right or your fruit salad or just to eat what's in a pina um, colada pineapple and coconut is that, it? that the main the main thing in a pina colada is pineapple, it's and, pineapple coconut? and coco lopez okay so pineapple yeah. coconut is the main yeah okay. we got some spears right here that are great for grilling and there's a lot of rum there you go that's what was missing more spears we could do something like this and you could cut them into like smaller pieces the, dice them up tidbits yeah right a whole bunch of stuff right now, if you did want to, if you wanted to cut it into rings, that's when you'd need to cut it into a round yep. and then get what I recommend one of those crazy devices. But this is how we cut and clean a pineapple. All right. Does everybody feel good about that? I feel really good about okay, it. Okay. Wash my hands really quickly and grab my ingredients. Now, if you want to watch that again, you can hit the rewind button or you can come back and watch it on our that's YouTube right. channel. Or you could just go to our YouTube channel and you could see a cool video of us cutting a pineapple over and over and over again. That's Play right. that thing on loop. Uh, if you just joined us, uh, you are, <laughs> we are just starting our pineapple three ways. Uh, we just did a little pineapple butchery to show you how to do that. Yes. And now we're going to start on our what's next, Chef? Uh, we are going to make our, we're going to start with dessert first. All right. Typically we have dessert at the end, but if you are going to do this, to cook with us from start to finish, I want you guys to be completely prepared and have everything done. So what we are going to do right now is start with our bar we're going to get the dough ready um, and make the base and then make our crumble and then we're going to get to the marinade all right now if you are cooking with us um, now is the time to reconstitute your chilies 
So you would put those for the pastor. So you would put those chilies in some water right now, the dried chilies, and then um, medium high heat, bring them to a simmer and let them soften. Soak them up, All right? soften. Yep. Okay. So I've got my ingredients right here, my sugar, everything. I got everything I need. I got my butter. All right. And I got my mixer. And what we're going to do is we're going to like unceremoniously, unceremoniously Cere it was good. It was good cream good our butter sh and sugar together. It's not a, not a true cream, but it'll, it'll get the job done. All right, so I got my stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, just a regular hand mixer will work. If you don't have that, um, you can use a Cuisinart, or you could use um, your, you know, your arms. Your arms. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to remove a half a stick of butter. And the reason why I'm removing that is that we're going to use this to cook um, our pineapple topping that we use in our bar. All right? Everything else is going into... Charlotte, I have a friend on Facebook, Sarah, and oh. we share a very similar... Uh, basically, we're mirroring each other's, like, minds. Yeah, Sarah. She said, life is too short. Always start with dessert. And I'm a big Sweet Tooth fan, so I'm 100% on board with that. So we would like to have our dessert first, okay. Chef, if you don't mind, Great. Sarah and I. So you got it. Tompkins is on his way. Appreciate that. With Sarah, I got you. <laughs> All right, so wait, I got a I still have sugar, to wait. <laughs> stick and a half of butter. We're going to cream this guy. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this guy because a little bit of salt balances the sugar and brightens both, right? And you have so to have salt. Yeah, you just have to. Two pinches. All right. We're going to grab some vanilla. And I'm just using um, vanilla extract. You could use like vanilla bean paste if you want. Get those beautiful flecks. Go nuts. Whatever makes your heart happy. I uh, always put a like a little extra, right? So it's like one for the pot, one for me. Well, I put them both in because I love vanilla. It's my fave. So we said earlier, Charlotte, I said if you take, uh, I feel like the historically any recipe you'd get, this is including the Nestle Toll House cookie recipe that you get on the back of the package. Which I can, I've memorized. You've memorized. So if you were to take the vanilla in any recipe that you've yeah. ever done, double the vanilla. Yeah. Because vanilla will, uh, because most of the alcohol base will basically evaporate in the oven, leaving you yep. less vanilla flavor. Yep. If you double that vanilla, I promise you, you will be happy with whatever you're baking, whatever that recipe yeah. is. Double the amount of vanilla and try it again. And I guarantee you're going to be like, what? It's okay. so much better. All right. Okay. Challenge. So I've already added the flour in. I just dumped it in there. I added it slowly because I've got my mixer on. I didn't want to embarrass myself and have a puff of flour. But just dump it in. No big deal, right? Once it comes together in sort of a loose, maybe crumbly dough, it doesn't have to be real soft. Just like this. So more of like, it looks more like your kind of sugar cookie dough. Exactly. It looks just like a sugar cookie dough, just like this, right? What we're going to do now is we are going to remove three quarters of this, right? This is perfect. I love it. And we're going to leave one quarter of our dough in here. Wait, scratch that, reverse it. There you go. There we go. That looks more, that Look, looks more proportionate. Just comes together. There's no eggs or anything in here. We're going to leave a little bit of this in here because this is going to be our crumb topping um, or our coconut streusel topping um, for the top of our bar. You could use like, you could add like nuts and stuff to it if you wanted. I am adding straight up toasted, sweetened toasted coconut, right? And at you can buy that one. actually at yep, HEB, exactly like that, ready it's, to go. I believe it's uh, the item is like Coral Bay or something like that, but you could also make it. You could just buy regular coconut, use toast it. Toast it up. Toast it up. Okay, so we're just going to turn this on. This right here smells like lovely ladies line on the beach. That toasted yeah, coconut. Yeah, that's our beach. Oh, uh, I love it. All right, I'm in. Okay, we're just going to mix this up. Meanwhile, right here, we're going to, I had a wonderful, I got this, guys. They brought it for me new. A borosilicate. It's a borosilicate. Tempered borosilicate. Still has a price tag on it. Lucky me. This is like an 8x8, eight 9x9. Eight, nine nine. I believe it's 9x9. Nine nine. I like to leave the paper on there when I bake it. Do I just you? feel like it adds to the actual It doesn't aroma. matter. It's about an 8x8. Eight eight. I'm happy with this, right? And what we're going to do is I have a little bit of parchment paper like so, and I'm going to place this in the bottom. So not, for, not because of like the sticking or anything like that, but simply because um, I want to remove these before I cut them, and I don't want to um, – it helps with pulling them out. Yeah. All right? You want to take so, – Take I'm going to take this, stuck. press this in here. I got this little guy right here. Yeah, best tool ever. Well. k &T little pastry roller. Well, a little flour theory, on there. Right? <laughs> Doesn't. So I usually do this in a metal baking dish. 
but Pyrex is perfect. Eight by eight, nine by nine. You could even do it on like a like a sheet pan if you want them to be a little bit thinner. But when I like, I like a like a thick, thick bar. Hey, you want like a bar, yeah. like a like a bar where you can see the layers. In yeah. It. Like you can sink your teeth into it. All right. Like so it. press that just like this. All right. We're gonna take this from here. We're gonna go directly into the oven. We're at three fifty, three twenty, um, three seventy five. So if you have a really really hot oven, your oven tends to run hot go down to 350. If you're using a dark pan, go to 350. This thing right here, this borosilicate, borosilicate. 375. All right, Tompkins, give me 15 minutes. 15 All right. minutes, timer. Clean up. Started. Okay. Here timer is. Started. That's our streusel. Here's our wonderful coconut crumble business. This is perfect. We're going to set this aside. I won't forget about it. All right. So that's all it is. That's it. It's all right. just the Sarah, dough desserts and on the yes, way. yes. Okay. I'm going to push our mixer back. We're going to do the old switcheroo here. Y'all stand by. I'm going to bring my blender. All my apparatus. Apparatus. I noticed you're using the, the fancy blender, not my, little, not my little guy. Huh? You went for the fancy one tonight? OK, I got my blender. My blender here. All right. We are now going to make the marinade for our pastor. All right? Al pastor. So for this, so I have all my ingredients right here. moving on to right the al pastor. Here. Yep, I have all my ingredients right here. Pineapple bars have already started. Here I come. Pineapple First bars portion. have started. Boop, 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 boop. Some street tacos. Okay. So right here, I've got some reconstituted chilies. I have some dried chilies right here. So we are using an ancho chili, which is a dried poblano. And we are using a um, guajillo chili, which is this red chili right here, reconstituted. Um, and this is a... Marisol chili, right? So I think, what is it? Like an Anaheim chili? Or it like is, a... right? But um, so these dried chilies, um, they're sort of like the holy trinity, right? We've got like the chipotle, we've got the, the cascabel, like the guajillo, yeah. the pasilla. Um, if you cannot find um, the ancho, use all guajillo. If you cannot find guajillo, use all ancho, right? They all have this similar earthy flavor. They're going to give you this red color. Um, it really won't hurt the recipe. Just a couple of notes, like inauthentic, like, you know, Mexican cuisine, like you wouldn't, um, you would scrape out as many of the seeds as you possibly could. I typically do it while they're still dry. It's a little bit easier. Um, but if you like the seeds, use the seeds. Uh, no, but it's your recipe and I support you. Go for it, right? Um, in my recipe, I think I said like six each of the chilies. I might have been a little insane and that makes a lot of marinade. No, I think so, you're good. I think going, I think yeah. going, going big. Uh, I, you got I mean, two Two super fans right now. Yeah. Joy and Sherry are super what? excited about okay. the Alpaca. So I'm also going to use a little bit of that liquid. So that liquid that you see, that brown, rich, dark chocolate, looks like coffee. Pepper that water. is actually like chili water, right? It's like the leftover liquid from the um, reconstituting those chilies. I've got some vinegar. I've got some achiote. I have some paprika. And I got a little onion. It's going to have that beautiful red color. Oh, my gosh. OK. So the hallmark of the pastor is that like beautiful like orange, red, almost yellow color. And that comes from the achiote paste, which is this right here. So you can already see that. If you cannot find achiote paste or annatto, um, don't worry about it. You're going to get the same effect, really, from the paprika and um, the, the chilies you put in here. Right? So we're going to do about a tablespoon of that. I've got my paprika. Smoked paprika is an excellent addition, tablespoon of each. Um, my vinegar, so vinegar is another um, key ingredient. Lisa right? on Facebook would like to know how spicy this is with your peppers. How spicy? Are we like what heat level? So, like you want Scoville units? Um, one this to ten. Is, like one to ten is this like on the hotter? Like this will burn like a, this is like a seven, six or okay. seven. It, yeah. So what what peppers would you would say for Lisa who's like who's like gets a little? The guajillo is a, is going to be I believe le, least less spicy but yeah. you again if so if spice is an issue for you go lighter on the chilies and higher on the achiota and paprika because those are not spicy all right you could also add a little bit of garlic in there all right does that make sense lighter on the dried chili heavier on the achiote and the paprika um we're gonna add in an onion a little white so onion. we top and tail that guy i'm just gonna peel off and you don't need to obviously dice that super small because no, you are going in the blender i'm so literally kind of putting it, it in Chunking it up. I mean, we you could like power a boat across the Gulf with this. You blender. could. That that blender has some serious uh, some serious All HP right. going. Throw on that in there. We're gonna put our blender here, and then I'm gonna get our pineapple. So the recipe, and I'm gonna use the pineapple we just cut. 
So the recipe calls for um, three spears. Uh, save one of those spears, all right? Because we're going to use that for garnish and put two in, in the recipe or two in the blender. So there's some interesting science that you're gonna that we're gonna talk about about yes. this recipe, the pastor. So yes. the pineapple in this is a tenderizer because of the bromelain. Yes. Which is a uh, signature pineapple. So it's a meat tenderizer, but it can be a little bit too much, right? You don't want to leave meat sitting in. Great the call. Too yes. Long. So I made this recipe the other day. I was like, I'm gonna make chicken uh, pastor. And so I made the recipe, and I actually said it just like that, y'all. I was going to say it's exactly. <laughs> That's how past me talks. Um, and I put it in the refrigerator, and I was like, I don't want to cook it. I'll cook it tomorrow. And the next day, it was mush. So it yeah, will. It's a real thing. Eat, it will eat it. It will eat. It will break down the protein so much that, and it'll also cook it a little bit. All right. So I added a little more of my chili water, just to give us some more, you know, texture Liquid. or not texture. I'm going to add a good pinch of salt. I am using the top of the blender. That's fine. You know what? You're not, we're not all risk takers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't hear you. What? I think it looks what? cool to, you know, have it popping and whizzing and, you know. There you go. Look how cool the vortex this is. This is what you wanted. That's what I wanted, the vortex. I have no idea what he said, but we did. So we did some some topless blending there. <laughs> that's right. a that's a 100% Tom Kids big Tom risk, big reward. So you can see this rich, rich red color. This is what we're going for with our pastor. So I'm gonna get rid of my blender. All right. I'm gonna go get my pork from the refrigerator, and I've got mine already sliced into medallions. Let me get a glove so I can show you guys. Um, I'm using the natural pork. There's a little bit of silver skin on, um, on the pork. I, ha I recommend cutting it off. Um, Tompkins, what's our, how are we on? You mean on your, your, uh, your cookie base for yeah. your pineapple bar? Yeah. Has about eight and a half minutes left there, okay. Chef. Uh, yeah. Joy on Facebook, uh, yeah. we're gonna just give us the address. We're gonna come over. She does a taco and tequila Thursdays. I do. Uh, I if do. You can put that in the chat. Both in, uh, we'd love to do it in both. I'm going to show you guys Facebook. how to do this. Give us the address. You'll have a crowd. We're going to do a little up. bit of. I'm going to show Maybe you guys you how to do this. Charlotte, how many handles of tequila do you have at your house? Maybe Joy can borrow one. True story. True Ready story. I have eight <laughs> handles of tequila at my house. Barely last the weekend. Barely last Barely the weekend. Barely, last Barely the got weekend. me through today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just got married as leftover from the wedding. Okay, oh, that's here's right. Here is our natural is. pork. This is our natural pork tenderloin, um, about a pound, pound and a quarter. Um, so there's a little bit of this connective tissue right here. Can y'all see? Yep. And this is what we call the silver skin. Um, in some applications, you don't have to remove it. But for this, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. It's actually very easy. So yeah, if there's if there's enough, it does, that's the stuff that won't break down. It should be chewing. It on is. Later, it's connective so. tissue. Okay, so let me show y'all real quick. I'm gonna get a paper towel. There you go. Get it. Right. You want to dry it off a little bit because it's going to be slippery, and I recommend using a disposable towel. So can you all see? what? It, let me see. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. So right here, you can see where that tissue connects. And what I'm going to do with my knife, and you want to use a sharp knife, is you just want to go right underneath that connective tissue and then go pull your pole goes in the opposite direction of your knife, right? So my knife Pulling is going the to the left, right? It. Just like so. Cut it off, right? It's a little bit right here. Same, same. So just knife tip underneath, yep. pulling it up. You can either peel it off or you can just kind of, you know, do just like, like that. Just did and kind of just cut the just little bit Just kind of cut off it there. off. No big deal. And you can get some of that fat, undesirable stuff. And that right there is how we trim the, t trim the silver skin off a of pork tenderloin. So then... I'm going to continue on, and we are going to cut these into a half inch, um, kind three of quarters inch medallion. And you're doing now, that so it stays on the grill, right? So exactly. It through. Yes. So typically you would um, chop up, like it would be fine diced, right? And I believe like um, authentic pastor is cooked on like a, like a spit, like a trompo, right? So it's ro slow roasted. And I'm not 100% sure on the, the pork cuts. I think it's whatever's available. But yeah, shoulder, sh yeah, they stack it up, you have different cuts. Some belly in there, belly, they yeah. layer it up, right? But I want these to stay on um, the grill. And I also am looking for a like extreme marinade to meat ratio, right? So to sort of mimic that way they build the pastor, which is like layered. 
So we're going to keep cutting just like this, guys. Yeah, you want to really get that marinade in between all the yeah. pieces. Oh, my God, it smells so good. Okay. It's so bright and beautiful. So I've got some right here. I'm going to throw this in my bag. Boop. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to discard this. Stand by, everyone. Okay. Do a quick little cleanup here. All right, I've got my... So I got two tenderloin in here. I got my marinade. Da, 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 da. We're just going to pour this right in here. And then wash out your blender because this will stain your blender. Also, if you get that on your clothes, you're, you're donezo. Bleach that thing because... All right, All right, we have a Joy on Facebook is uh, saying, remember uh, Joy talked about the carrot margarita? Oh, my God, remember? yes. So uh, it's she cheat. didn't try it. Um, Joy, would you share your carrot margarita with uh, everybody? That way we can actually try it. All right, I'm going to marinate this guy for um, a couple of hours, all right? A couple of hours. That's all it needs, right? Because, again, it's a powerful enzyme. It'll tenderize quickly. Yeah. Give us all that right. recipe, Joy. We want to we we try it. We have seven handles of tequila at our disposal woo, woo. currently. Hold on, y'all. I'm losing my I'm losing my mic. I'm having technical difficulties over here. I gotta stand by. Tighten up. Please uh, enjoy this music <laughs> while I read. Da 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 da. All right. Okay. Here we go. Da da da. You done? Is that good? All right. Could you imagine? Could you just imagine? Not really much of a singer. All right. Clean cutting board. Now, remember that butter we set aside? What I do. And then the brown sugar that we set aside, I do. So this is from when we were making our um, our bar. You know what I did, guys? Stand by. Stand by. I turned this guy on, and then I got distracted. You need more music? You need me more, nope. more music? Okay. Or are you okay? Okay. So right here. Here is my K&T copper, copper guy. In Fantastic here, pot. I'm going to add in that half a stick of butter. All right? I'm going to add in my brown sugar. So if you don't have brown sugar, we're making, by the way, everyone, just to get everyone back, back up speed, we are making the pineapple <laughs> filling for our bar. We're running back. There we there go. There we go. I was like, this okay. is the best pastor ever. Okay. <laughs> we're moving on. So um, we're using brown sugar to um, sweeten our, our, our pineapple, right, our pineapple mixture. I like brown sugar and pineapple together so much because when you cook pineapple, it has so much natural sugars in it that it, like, it caramelizes and this level that is like yeah, you, second only to creme brulee. Oh, you mix so with good, that molasses right? and the yep. caramelized sugar on they the pineapple. They just go yep. so well together. So we're going to add that in there. And also like a dark, like molasses-y, like aged rum and pineapple is so good together too. You could put rum in this if you wanted. Okay. Good. Do you have right. any set rum? Nope, I don't. Just the tequila. So we are going to add in our pineapple that was so lovingly cut by... My friend Scott Tompkins. I cut you a bunch. I want to make sure you, you had plenty of pineapple. Good looking out, bro. Hey, and then uh, we're gonna... Marissa on Facebook said you're making her mouth water. Just yes. to let you know. Then I am doing it right because all I'm doing is talking about it. Okay, this the is lemon the lemon zest. This is the worst. Yeah, the zester's teeth that are getting zester's... a little. I, okay. I push a little hard on that. We got to get rid of that guy. That we guy was retire. sad. Okay, I got a new one though. Remember that one time you thought it would be cool to have a glass one of these? What are you talking? That's like the best idea ever okay. for my young entrepreneurs uh, okay. group that we do. That's like so still the best idea. So we are zesting the juice of one lemon into this pot, and the like lemon zest or the essence of lemon is really going to play well with the citrus notes of the pineapple, and also give it a little bit of brightness. And it's not so so one note. Um, I highly recommend adding lemon zest or some sort of citrus zest to any fruit cooked fruit dish. Um, because of the way it, it adds complexity and depth to whatever it is you're making, right? It brightens and it. It brightens it, right? So then we're also going to save the juice. All right, so let's add a little bit of salt into here because you can't have sweet Pinch. without salt. And we're coming back over here, all right? So for my next trick. Also, my patent is pending on the glass zester, so anybody out there just knows. Still I had a, a tray idea. that was all set up for my own self, and it was pushed way in the back. So I've got a little bit of cornstarch here, and I've got about, I can say it's about a half a cup, so I'm going to remove a little bit of it. Um, we want about a third cup, quarter of a cup, third cup, and our cornstarch is what we're going to add into our um, pineapple 
make sure to thicken it up to gel it together and that's what's going to keep it firm on top of that bar and keep it together when we cut into it so i've got my lemon i'm gonna do the old roly roly loosen up the juice that should be a song and then I'm going to do this. Now, uh, you see Chef Charlotte has the juicer to where she can squeege all the juice out of the uh, lemon. Squeegee. Squeegee. Like squeegee. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Like you squeeze it, but you're squeegee. squeegeeing it's it like using a, the... It's like a, we're a, we're a, a 2022 squeegee. disco <laughs> band. The squeegees. Squeegees. Uh, you're thinking of a different band. Uh, if you don't want to do that, just know uh, if you walk into our any of your HEB Fresh Produce, you can a lot of times typically find the fresh squeezed uh, lemon juice, lime juice, and orange juice. That also works fantastic. The labor has been taken out for you. So you right? can move a little quicker because we know everybody needs more time in their day. Uh, you know who... Chef, um, your cookie's done. The timer's going off. 15 okay. minutes. So I'm going to make a little slurry with the lemon juice and the cornstarch. And the reason why I'm making a slurry is that as I pour this into my hot liquid that's probably burning over here... Nope, it's not. Look, can y'all see in there? Can y'all see what's happening? A little bubbly bubbly going on? Yeah, so like the sugar in the bottom is starting to like caramelize a little bit more with the butter. Things are happening. This is brilliant. I love it. Look how it's getting kind of thick. Oh, it's going to taste divine. So the slurry, what we're going to do with this is as we pour this into um, that butter sugar mixture, it's going to disperse evenly and we won't get any like weird clumps of cornstarch, which is gross. Nothing worse that. than, yeah, eating a lump of right? cornstarch. So incidentally, cornstarch has to uh, boil to activate. Um, so we're going to get that pretty hot. And you said this guy is ready? Time went off, Chef. Yes. OK. I'm going to go a little bit longer. Ooh, that's hot. Let's go a couple minutes longer with this one, just, just because I want to. How many more minutes? You want like five more minutes? Uh, more yeah. Minutes? And we're gonna pour this guy. We're gonna pour our slurry. I'm gonna think yes on the five more minutes. Cornstarch is a heck of a thing, man. Y'all ever do that science project when you're kids where you like hit it real hard and nothing happens? I guess where you learn about like surface tension or whatever. Science. Cornstarch. So cornstarch starts to gelatinize, do its work. Uh, Around 145, yeah. between like 145 and like 160. Okay. It starts to kind of thicken up and do its thing. Um, ticks, uh, tips, ticks. tips to get lumps out of the cornstarch mixture again, you said. Put it through a sieve. Put it through a sieve. Uh, mix it with the water really well. If you make your slurry, just mix um, it up, make sure it's nice and dissolved. Yeah, put it through a sieve and then zzz, bit, You could buzz it up yeah. with liquid. That bzz, a bit, you got I do that. that in my pie fillings. I do it all the time. I'm telling all you, right. I do that. I buzz it up okay. with the liquids. Now, friends, we are going to get ready for our relish. Relish time? Our relish. All right, so the cookie is still going in the oven. Your uh, filling is on the stove that's cooking out. Oh my God, We're I got moving an to the onion relish. Right the pastor pork is marinating. Lime. You've already butchered the pineapple. I'm just feta. catching a bit of speed. We are pineapple three different ways. Some cilantro. Here. Okay. I feel like Rachel Ray right now. Yeah? In I had my little bowl. Way. I was ready. I went to the thing. I was going to do the old apron trick where you put everything in your apron. You do that. That's a good trick. That is a good trick. That's what aprons okay. are good for. That's right? Not only do they keep your. They keep you warm in the wintertime, <laughs> protect you from splashes. Protect you they from splashes. They can also splashes. be used as a basket. <laughs> All right, so right here I've got two ears of um, some Texas roots, like super sweet corn. You could use like corn on the cob um, or like, you know, like the stuff that still has the husk on it if you want. Use whatever, you, you could use whatever you like. Okay. Ooh, we're thickening. It's being, it's thickening so nicely. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. I've got right here. Um, a couple of pieces of pineapple that I think are absolutely divine. So I'm going to throw these guys in here, put those right there. We also are going to need, what did I cut with this? No? Okay. Oh, my lemon. We're fine. Okay. I'm going to cut this onion. All right. So red onion. Tompkins and I had a long talk earlier about uh, what our favorite onions were. 
starting with our you hear most favorite. Yeah. Shallots. Shallots. Leeks. Leeks. Uh, green onions, chives. Oop. Green onions, chives. Red onion. Yep. No, white onion, red onion. Yep. Yellow onion. Yellow onion. And I left off garlic because that's kind of on its own. Well, it's an allium vegetable. It's not an onion. Yeah, it's like kind of in the family, but it's kind of like the cousin you always have to have show up at the party. Well, everyone. Every, the every family has one. <laughs> uh, hey, Charlotte, you no, know where people kidding. are watching from? You ready for this list? Yes. Uh, Joshua, Texas, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Wisconsin, what? Houston, Kansas City, Austin, Ontario, what? Canada. What? Our friends in Ontario. We're, We're coming international, y'all. Maryland, North Carolina, Chicago, Illinois, Colorado, North Dakota, Lubbock, McAllen, what? Ohio, Virginia, Red Oak, Texas, and New Hampshire. I want to move to New Hampshire okay. really bad, but the problem is I want to move to both New Hampshire and Ontario, Canada at the same time. Can I be a citizen of both? I don't know. I, you'll have to ask the Canadian government. Okay. We'll you know have some to, people in the what are your government. terms of dual citizenship, <laughs> sir? Uh, I'll cook as much as they want me to cook Perfect. for as long as they Perfect. want me to cook it. Okay, my grill is hot. We're at medium-high heat. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit on this side. It's cleaned, well-oiled. I've got my pineapple planks right here. Well, Pineapple's there. going I on. I found the hot spot. The hot spot is there. All right? Yeah, every grill's I got my onions. My onion planks. And this, guys, is for our relish. This pineapple right here, this color, is like, oh, up. Optimal sugar development. It's gonna be divine. Yeah, they have that. Oh, it's gonna caramelize uh, like yellow. I'm telling you, like a creme brulee. It's gonna be amazing. I've got my corn and then my limes. I'm gonna grill my limes because we're grilling everything else. Why can't I grill my limes? All right. Well, it gives you a little Let charred flavor. It helps, it helps make the it juice does. a little more uh, soft, so you can get more juice out of it. Again, you can also buy fresh juice. There we go. Squeezed at your local HEB. It's fantastic. Fresh lime. Lemon. You know what doesn't go to waste at my house? What's that? The lime juice. What do you use it for? Your Topo, topo Chico's? <laughs> my, my Topo Chico's and seven tequila. seven handles of vodka. <laughs> no, it's, it's tequila. Not vodka. Sorry, not vodka. Tequila. Okay. Wrong party. Okay, wrong party. wrong party. All right. So here we go. We got a little bit of color in there. See, it's kind of wavy and wrinkly because it wasn't perfect and we put it in there. And now we're going to put this wonderful Pineapple topping on top. Right? Sure, there's no such thing as perfect. There's just as is how it is. Perfectly and we imperfect. Because it it's gonna be it's gonna be delicious either way. All right. This guy's clean as a whistle, so we're just gonna put that right back in the cabinet. So it's good candy pans, man. And then remember that stuff we made earlier? Yeah, your strusel. My strusel. I like how you said that. My strusel. I, I brush my teeth with strusel. True story. That's you know, Only Tompkins? in the morning, though. At nighttime, I go to regular toothpaste. So yeah. I'm ready to freak out what about kind of toothpaste do you use, Tompkins? Uh, you want like name brand, like the actual one? Like what flavor? Oh, yeah, what is your name mint. brand toothpaste? I use, I Tell use me. the bubble gum. Actually, I use my own flavor. I use squid ink, and I add squid ink to it because I really like that flavor. <laughs> I just use crest, and I add squid ink to my crest. Anybody? I'll give the recipe that anybody, anybody wants else that want that? Toothpaste. I don't know. You're a crest kid. Okay, and I gleam it. Okay. In my smile. Okay, so here is our. <laughs> I don't know why I asked you what toothpaste you used. I don't know. Okay. Uh, it's a whitening toothpaste. Oh, good. Well, you have a beautiful, a beautiful <laughs> smile. All right. So now I'm just going to put our crumble on top. Streusel crumble. Unceremoniously, so which is, is my that, new favorite word. I'm so in there is you got coconut, you got butter, you got flour, you got sugar. Yeah. So when that Vanilla. melts and you bake it up, it's yeah. going to kind of spread yeah. out. The butter will kind of, and it'll kind of all yeah. crisp up and it'll yep. make that beautiful kind of All those sugary, things that you just said. Crispy crust. Yes. Okay. With the and back into Does the oven. Does it still oven. smell like lovely ladies on the beach? Does it still smell like that? It or does it smell so a little good. more caramelized yes. now? We're moving into like a, what do yes. they call it? A luau. We're more, more in a luau with it's the rum luau. and the. Okay, we're going back in the oven. Okay. All right. Back in the oven, 30 to 45 minutes, um, depending on what kind of pan you use and how your oven cooks. All right. So. Got my pineapple there. We're going to do a quick little cleanup. Working clean. Working clean tonight. Working clean. Sanitary. Okay. Got your gloves on. All right. right. We got the relish, right? The relish we're, is we're what's doing, coming we up. We got relish, relish on the grill, right? Sarah and I are still waiting for 45 minutes. is not going to work for me, Sarah. I don't know about you. Uh, I'm hoping we have a pineapple bar a little bit faster than 45 minutes. Okay. Stand I can by. only go as fast as I can go. All right. I got making sure my grill's hot, friends. All right. Yeah, Sherry's also waiting for the bars. You got Sarah, Sherry, and myself. Oh, Sherry. Is that how the song goes? Y'all just heard me do that. Yeah. I'm totally That's Steve embarrassed. Perry. You better I'm believe totally it. Totally embarrassed. I embarrassed my own self.
Come back, okay. Steve Perry. I'm going to let those guys do a thing. While that's happening, we're coming back over here because we are going to start our relish. Um, the recipe is like two ounces of feta, one ear of corn, and um, if two ounces of feta is good, I just figure the whole block is better. So we're going to put the whole block in there. We doubled up on our corn. We got a whole bunch of pineapple. No big deal. I'm going to put it in there. What do y'all think? I love this relish. The like balance of the salty feta and the like sweetness of the pineapple is just mm. you could do it with cucumbers too you could put a watermelon in it peaches yeah oh, this is going to be your go-to summer, summer salsa salad. summer just dip plug and you just play with the fruit. change the fruit change the fruit right let me ask you i have all this squid ink left over from my brush from my teeth face? can i pour squid ink in mine sure can that work in the salad too sure for those of us that brush our teeth with squid ink there's probably three of us on the, the whole show Yes, raise your hand. They're on there. I've right. got mine raised. I don't know about everybody else, but, you know, we should try it. I'm sometime. just going to crumble this up in there. How do you like your um, feta usually? Do you like big chunks? So here, here's my thing on feta. I know people get weird about feta because sometimes the smell, but it, it, I promise you it I don't tastes know. so much better than it smells. It's not even funny. It's a salty, like, Pecorino so romano good. cheese. It is. It's the Pecorino Romano of Greece. You, uh, you asked me how I like it. I, I like it either crumbled and kind of mixed in like you're doing it, or I love it in big, fat blocks. Yeah. Where I can, like, just chew it with something like know. an olive or whatever or marinate it. I don't think people it. hate it because TikTok made feta a thing. Melting Remember feta. there was, like, no feta in the world because everybody was at home baking it with noodles <laughs> and uh, tomatoes, with cherry tomatoes? It was genius. I, I was I so mad I, I didn't think that, of it myself. I do remember myself. the run on feta. That avocado's not awesome. I didn't like that guy. You know what you needed? You needed me to go to the store with you and handle all the avocados. I'd have picked you out some good ones. Well... These hands are made for picking should, avocados. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> also, everyone, uh, wash your produce because that means Tompkins has literally touched yep. I've been every in your store. avocado. This guy's okay. We're going to use him. He's nice and Ooh. soft. No, he's, he's firm. He's, not, he's, 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 you know, he's, he's getting there, though. He's firm. That's okay. Now those guys it's in a okay. paper bag. I am not I winning one? at the avocado you know game. What? I can tell by that one that that one's going to be all right. <laughs> eh, it's okay. It's, 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 okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. We're going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. If it's a little bit unripe or underripe, that's okay because you want it to kind of hold together anyway for the salad. This is true. This is true. This is all true. Amy on Facebook, uh, yeah, you're, she says, swap feta for goat cheese or burrata. You could throw burrata in anything. Throw burrata. Uh, I'd also recommend brushing your teeth with burrata if you could. Burrata's on, good on everything. And Amy's invited. Amy's on the level. She got Amy, it. Amy, you're going to get one of Charlotte's uh, signed handles of tequila. Tequila. We're going to give those out tonight. I just made a decision. Does that work for you? Can yeah. I give out your handles of tequila? Sure. Or are you going to need those for this weekend? We're going to give those out. Signed by signed Charlotte. Signed by me. Monogrammed. That's it. Okay, we're gonna put a little of these guys in here. I'm gonna go back and check my guys, and then I'm gonna throw that. Is anybody else sweating? Anybody, anybody else warm? I'm actually, this quite avocado's not just awesome. Watching, watching you do uh, the relish here. We're all. I failed in the avocado department, guys. I'm sorry. It's one of those. It's just a risk you take. Sometimes you win some, you lose some. You Can't. Know, so I'm gonna use this guy. who's a little bit firm, right. but that's okay. It's all right. You can always just omit the avocado this time. Add can it next I? Time, you know? Let them ripen. You know, I'm kind of disappointed right you now. Put them on avocado lie. toast. I'm a little, they I'm the a little disappointed right them. now. Hold on. This guy, let's see. Wait, Look see. at the, the one that's closest to me that's moving. The one that just moved. No, man, those are like. I feel that guy. No? Is he not, is he not there? Oh. I feel like no, I'm, but that's all right. It's okay. You can't win them all. My avocado senses are tingling. Telling right now. you, this one's okay. The avocado, it's like a. It's a crapshoot every time you roll the dice, you know? It's all about squeezing. You just got to squeeze the avocado. It'll tell you exactly when it's ready to go. You'll be very gentle, Charlotte. You've got to be really listen to the avocado. Take your time <laughs> with the avocado. It'll tell you. It'll go, I'm not ready. Don't take me. I'm not ready. I and this will go, yes, I am. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. And then you just you take the avocado. That's, that's how you do it. I'm gonna give a, I'll teach a class on, how <laughs> on to avocados. The we'll do it in a store, and I'm going to show you exactly... Stop I'll talk it. to you. They'll tell you. <laughs> tell you when they're ready. Can't. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Tompkins will be here <laughs> all night. Every time you are. <laughs> all right. We're going to chop these guys up.
Beatrice on Facebook, also on Team Avo Toast. Who's not on Team Avo Toast? I know, right? You mean the tartan? The tartine. I don't, that's what we did last week, the tartine, right. which is basically French avocado toast or just French toast. Seriously. Okay, putting this avocado in here. This guy, I don't know really what Again, happened. but toast doesn't quite have the same sound that tartine no. does, right? Y'all, if y'all want to watch a really fun class, um, go to the... That class, what class? It was um, souped up sandwiches. Souped up sandwiches. Okay, souped up sandwiches. Man, this avocado game just was. That hey, you're me good. Up. We're good. The we relish is good. still gonna be delicious. Don't worry. We are good. How's your? I can smell your pineapple. I can smell the creme brulee. Right. Okay. Look at that. What? Okay. Just getting some caramelization there, you guys. Like, it over. You know, summertime grilling pineapple is just one of those things that's got to So happen. good. It's so good. Look at that. We got some great color over there. I'm going to grab our pork out of, look at this, big old bag of hey, pork. Right now, Chef, top of your Tell head, us. if people are going to be grilling pineapple all summer, if they get yeah. into it, what, yeah. what is a, give us a cocktail that they could use their grilled pineapple. Oh, for. get out of town, y'all. Are you ready? I'm ready for okay, it. Okay, you could grill it. And you could chop it up, throw in the blender, and make a grilled margarita, pineapple margarita. You could do like a like a coconut rum with some little sparkling water with some grilled pineapple. You can make a sangria if you got some pineapple that's kind of like meh, okay. And if you got some wine that's kind of been sitting in the fridge and you're like, I don't know what to do with this. Make a sangria. Put it in there. Grilled like fruit that. sangria. Do it. Uh, it's a thing. Did Joy share her uh, carrot margarita recipe with the world? She did. We have it. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it some some at some point. We're gonna make it, Joy. All right. Here we go. Look at this. This is Enjoy our This is our pork. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at these medallions. Look at these beautiful medallions. Look at the color on that. So that was literally not very long, right? Nope. That was the same one you did earlier? Yep. It's amazing how fast the bromelase. It's a good word. It's the only smart word I know. What? Bromelase. Bromelane. Bromelane. The uh Throwing it in there. I throw the ace on there because, you know. I mean, it sounds good. I just, it, you know, makes it sound more foody. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Let's say two more for good measure. Boop. Look Remove my gloves. Rob, the, the color of that, like, glistening Oh, red. yeah, I made a big mess. Let me wash my hands real quick. Pork. There's your pastor, folks. There's your taco right there. Oh, Relish, yeah. You could just do it with just straight medallions, y'all. Straight medallions. All right. Put this aside. I'm gonna give these a light spray. Oof. So remember, we have that white onion, all right? We've got the white onion, and we've got that pineapple in that marinade. So we're gonna get some like crazy caramelization and these really beautiful like charred brown bits. It's gonna stick to your grill a little bit. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. Right. Trust me. All Just right. Burn off. Yes. Okay. Coming back over here. Doing a little cleanup. The avocado. Do avocados. To Nobody, just anybody that's joining ugh. us right now, Charlotte, has no idea. Disappointed. The avocado debacle. So we're starting Okay, good. Fresh. We're starting fresh. So there's, starting yes, fresh. nothing to see here. All right, so now. Making the relish. Making the relish, which I literally can eat this whole bowl. I've got some washed cilantro that I got at the HEB. Um, I keep it in a. Um, Paper towel? Sounds thank like. Thank you. Thank you. A damp paper towel. It's a great because trick it for keeps all it your yeah, it keeps it fresh. Keeps it fresh. Fresher longer, right? That's what we're going for. And then I'm just going to give this guy like the roughest rough chop. of chops, all I'm right? By the way, you could stop right here where you are with the avocado and feta. I'd eat that all day long. I don't need anything else in it. I'm not fussy. If you I know you're not fussy. <laughs> uh, if you <laughs> so are not a avocados. cilantro <laughs> fan, this is where you could throw in your basil, where you could throw in your mints, where you could throw in, you know, different herbs, parsley if you'd like, all right? Um, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in this. And then some um, salty peppy. And I'm going to go get my fruit. It actually doesn't need so much salt. I was going to say, that feta is pretty salty, so you, yeah. you just need to, you but you got to make sure everything else is seasoned yeah, well. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, I'm going to move my comal. Over to no, that is the a cocina ware It is. It is. Oh, I have itchy nose. It's a really heavy cast my iron. My grilled, my grilled limes, my grilled corn. Looks beautiful. Okay, Softens so, it up. Couple of notes. 
we are not trying to, um, the goal of the game is not to incinerate the pineapple, to make it so mushy that we can't chop it. We wanna, we're adding flavor without um, destroying the integrity of the fruit itself. You want right? some texture to it yeah, still. Exactly. You want it to be completely falling yes. apart. I'm gonna get my I'm little gonna, onions. Uh, same thing with your onions and everything. Yep. You want it all a little bit crispy. Yep. If you wanted to be like super amazing, you could, um, I've turned on my Kamal to medium high heat, we're gonna cook some tortillas. Um, you could do something like, um, like mash this up into like a whole bunch of guac, right? You could go like that. There's a bunch of different things you could do. All right, so I called this like a little relish, like it's a condiment and I'm making the biggest bowl of it. You can find me in the corner with that bag of chips and this, that's where I'll be after this show, okay? And my tequila. <laughs> uh, hey, you want to know what? Joy, Joy Cole. I just got uh, her margarita recipe in my inbox. Are you serious? I'm looking right at okay. it. Okay. I'm excited. It's okay. you too. It's you there. did? Okay. Yep. We got it. We're going right. to make it. So now I'm just going to rough chop these um, red onions. I still am shocked that we call them red onions because to me, what color do these look like? Polling the audience. Red. Looks like a red onion. I like want to know. Like a fire truck. That's like fire engine red right there, Charlotte. That's what I'm looking at right there. No? Joy, Purple. what say you? What color are these onions? Uh, I don't know what, you know, who, you know, as long as they're, as long as you've caramelized them like that and they're going to the relish, you can call them fuchsia onions. Just don't onions call me I, uh, late for dinner. All right, so chop up our red onion. Like they are more of a fuchsia, right? That's kind yeah, of more of that. Know. Like throw those in there. I've got our corn right here. Oh, wait, stand by. We got this guy. Boop. Throw that in there. Got our corn. Corn. Just gonna cut the kernels off. I do love me some good grilled charred corn. Really. Something about up. like grilled corn in the summertime, and I just can't with it. It's so good. It makes the heat tolerable, right? We have the right produce. You know what I bought at you know, HEB the other like, day? I oh bought this corn buttering thing where you put the stick of butter into this thing that looks like a piece of corn and you just rub it on the... What? Yes, I bought it in the GM section and it's, it was the coolest thing. It literally looks like a plastic ear of corn and you put a half a stick of butter in it. And it's like, it has a concave... And then concave, you just like dip the yeah. corn in it? No. no, you rub it along the piece of corn like this so your hands don't get buttery. It's brilliant. I don't know who came up with that. I should have brought it to show everybody. Sorry, I'm picking up. Okay, here's our corn. Again, I'm going to do that little Cherry, trick. Cherry, I love all the onions. I love Vidalia. I love all the onions. I'm giving love to all the onions. I just happen to like the... I feel like the shallot's okay. the most like used in my Come with me. We're going place, back over here. But I do here. love Vidalia because you can't make a, so can't make a good... French onion soup, a really good soup without Vidalia onions. I'll tell you that right now. I love those onions. I love your tips. I learn from everybody. I learn from what you, I, I learned a, a super awesome carrot margarita. I like the onions. I like what you guys are into. I'm loving it all. Da -da -da. Like I'll caramelize. That's that pineapple on there. Ooh. Ooh. Put you over there. For a second, I thought I was alone, and I started talking to the things on the grill. That's all right. Okay, look at this. It's tender, succulent little pieces of pork. They're going to be so good. Get over there. Perfect. Stand by. Got my, my beautiful grilled piña right here. Okay. Look at that. Still has a lot of texture to it. Cut that. So you're going to kind of go in the same, you're going to go kind of bigger chunks, right? You're going to kind of keep it all in the uh, same tone. You're going to go more dice. Like you're going to kind of keep everything the same. What are you, what, yeah. are you, what are you thinking? Yes, I am. I think that's a good call. I'm going to do maybe a, the same size of the avocado, a little bit bigger than the corn. All right. Okay. Bite size either way. Oh my God. It smells the, ooh, it's so good. It does smell really good. I'm just going to chop this guy up like it's so. It's that hint of like the slightly warm, slightly caramelized pineapple. If you put this on a piece of like, Pound cake, some yeah. ice cream. Or just ice cream over the warm pineapple, let it melt. So good. So good, so good y'all. I'm hungry now. Do you have a gas grill at your house? 
No, man. I'm all. I. You know what I do? I buy the, uh, the little um, Weber's. The little About guy. Every year, the little, just a little, just a regular little Weber charcoal Weber's because I've had too many grills that did just get destroyed. I'm the like, kettle, oh. the Weber kettle. Yeah, just that's you can all buy one at H E B. Click Cause, add cause to cheap, cart. Right, they're it's, cheap because you you you'll yes. wear you'll wear them out. You can replace them, and like if they get yes. destroyed, it's not the end of the world. You no, know what I mean? like but it's cost designed. The way a, the kettle is designed is to perfect. hold in the heat, perfect layer of charcoal. It's I throw all my charcoal, I'm like, I got my NASA. hot side and my cold side. So I got the hot side, yes. I got on the left side, I stack on my charcoal, I get yes. that burning hot for my searing, yes. move everything over to the other side, throw the lid yes. on, let no, it cook I just off. made a big mess with my own self here. Okay. Uh, everybody in the chat is Team Purple. So Team Purple? I think we I think red is spoken loud and clear. Okay. I think we know who the winner is. Okay. Very clearly. Okay. It's the fuchsia. I'm gonna fuchsia. it's a fuchsia. I'm gonna onion petition the world folks. to change the name of said. Charlie, you got, you got that kind of pull. You're going to get me into the uh, the Canadian consulate, right? So I can have dual citizenship, so I can yeah. start doing the class. Yeah. We'll, do, we'll do that. <laughs> I need your pull to get yeah. me the fuchsia. We're we'll changing okay. change the name of the onion. It's perfect. We'll do purple fuchsia. There's a little seed in there. Come out of there. Oh, no. We lost him. That's you okay. You know, if you were to use HB's fresh squeezed lemon juice, you may not have the same issue. Just saying, that's the squeegee. I'm just saying, I'm squeegee. not even mad. That was the most perfect plug right there. <laughs> it's almost like we pay you. That's right. All right. All the circus Are peanuts. you tired of getting seeds in your relish? <laughs> Come on down to the local H-E-B, and I'll show you our fresh squeeze lemon juice <laughs> right here. Fresh, unpasteurized. Scott Tompkins, you're Good my favorite. Everything. All right. Look at this, guys. Oh, look. Oh, da -da. Look at that. Look at this. I can't, y'all. You know what's I'm funny? You, you, were, you were dancing earlier at the grill, and I said, you know, when people get excited, they dance around. But you know what? When people get excited, nobody ever does. They dance. They don't ever do the robot. You notice that? Nobody ever gets I'm excited all, as a robot. Yeah, you can't, you can't be excited and do the robot. It's just not going to work. You have to just do a regular dance. And no, not the robot. you can't. I wish I knew how to break dance, but I don't. Okay, I got you know this cute little you? bowl. One that of those I got. handles of tequila would help you break dance. I'd hurt something. I'm 40. When I fall <laughs> down now, it's not awesome. I can't. You break dance, you're actually going to break I'm something. I'm going to break dance. something. I broke Yo, look at this. <laughs> Dude, this would be so amazing on like a little fish taco with some grilled shrimp in my mouth just with a bowl. By it the way, doesn't for matter. The, for the vegetarians out there, throw that on one of your corn tortillas Gosh, and call it a day. So beautiful. So happy about that. Okay. Here's clean up, relish. clean up. No, I'm going to leave bar. you here. I'm going to leave you here. Do you want to clean up? Let's check this. All right. It's looking. We getting there? It's We're getting setting. there. It is. Have we it reached is. gelatinization? Yes. No. We yes. Yes. Okay. No. I turned this off I'm inadvertently. Now. Um, all right. Polling the audience. What is everybody's favorite H E B tortilla? Should we do the little, the mini street taco guy, or should we do the ready to cook mi tienda corn tortillas, which actually go really cute in my taco holder? Um, corn. I like the corn. You're gonna okay. go with corn. Go with corn. Well, they're both corn. I like also, the fact that they are uh, okay. the raw corn, and you cook them up, and yeah. they're delicious. You These are awesome. Garlic butter Look on. at this. Boop, boop. I also like the Mitienda, uh regular flour tortillas. By the way, Charlotte, did you know? <laughs> no. There's a taqueria event going on right now at HB till May 24th. And you can get $4 off uh, when you get $20 worth of Mi Tienda products with the coupon. Bro. Go check it out. Taqueria. Glad we're talking about this. Oh, yeah. Did you know Mi Tienda makes a, wait for it, Al Pastor? So if you're on team, I don't have enough time, guess what? Mi Tienda's got it. Now, we got you. Uh, in Canada, you're going to have to come see us. Or we're going yeah. to hop in the Winnebago. And we'll bring you some Mi Tienda products for yourself. we got to yeah. first procure a Winnebago. But I hear, Charlotte, you have, you know enough people that you've probably got a Winnebago somewhere, right? We'll take the Winnebago. We'll go up to Canada. We gotta hit Georgia, Indiana. We gotta go by Chicago. We gotta okay. hit a few places on the way up. Okay. We'll do the Mi Tienda tour. We're doing the Mi Tienda I'm tour. I'm promising a lot okay, of Okay, well, those things are happening. I'm gonna do a little bit of like accoutrement for our tacos. So typically, a pastor taco would be seen with um, some like fine diced. White onion. White onion. It's on my list of favorite onions. It's not at the top of the list, but it's the one I like to have when I do tacos for sure. You know, 
people are like, why did you become a chef? What's your favorite this? And I'm like, food, just yeah, eating food. food. What's your favorite? And I'm sharing. like, all of it, even when it's not like. Creating. I mean, you have to eat, right? We you, gotta eat. It's you, yes, to and live, so the you more, have to. The more you learn about food and flavors and yes. what to do, the better that experience will be yes, when it's you the have great to connector. feed yourself to survive. Right? There's so many things that are like that are attached to like eating and cooking and like it's a family thing. So There's new. memories and all like culture and like stories and traditions and history. It's just I everything, love it. right? Weddings and all baby shower, you know, all, all love the it. big events, right? I food. love it. Come here. And now I think we all know uh, we all know that Joy's uh, carrot margarita is going to be at the center of all those things for all of us. Joy, super serious shout out. You shared one of your uh, your your favorite family things, and H E B forwarded me that recipe, and I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Carrot margarita. The next time you see me, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be seven handles of carrot margarita deep. Do we juice our own? Do we juice our own? Oh my God! Yeah, I burned these tortillas. But you know there are stores. Yo, come on. There are stores. No, I didn't. H E B that also juice the carrot. You get carrot juice. You can do all the juice. All the juice. Okay. Am I running out of time? Are we gone? Have we gone over? Have I gone over time? You're right. You're right. Let's, Who's let's sticking with this. me? Y'all want to see this to the bitter end? I'm Come here. on. I'm here. I'm here for it. We're almost. We're so close. I'm. So, I'm here for it. We're plating up the final thing here. Final plate Pretty up. Long. It's the final. Look, the great thing about these classes, yeah. we're doing this in real time, so somebody that's actually yeah. cooking dinner with us yeah. is going to be eating at the exact same time. I'm not worried about it. I got to be here until it's over, so I'm going to grab my pork. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, remember, uh, pork only needs to be cooked to 145, so don't feel like you have to go all the way to 650 degrees. It's uh, plenty good at 145. But if you would like your pork to be super well done, we also support that, Absolutely. and no one's going to shame you or blame you, okay? No, not shaming. But 600 degrees, you may be, it may be carbon by then. Boop. So, but yes, cook it however you want it. Boop. That's a dumb idea. Okay, let me take that off. Okay. I got this little guy, and I want to use it. Because I, I think it's cute. I'm going to put on some more gloves. Yo, this is so hot. Okay, I got this cute little guy, okay? Charlotte, am I even kidding you? I am starving. I'm so hungry too. <laughs> I'm also sweating up here. It's been all, it's been all sweet. Okay. So everything else has been all right. tasting. Everything has been all. Okay, I got my little tortilla. Goes in here like this. I got my other. You take the gram. Just kidding. You take the tortilla. We're gonna go like this. All right. Okay. As you're all building right. these, I want you to know what okay. you see. This the plate that she's using for the relish and this taco thing. If you go to an H E B. Pick it up now because you'll be like I did, where you're like, oh, where'd you get that? And they're like, oh, it's seasonal. These things are seasonal in GM department. They're available now, but again, when they're gone, they're gone. It may not be around until next season. So if you see them there, don't get wait. It. Don't do like I did because you'll be like, ah, oh, you know what? I waited and they're not there anymore. If you see them, pick them up. Putting all of this in fast. there. I'm in and out, this. seasonal. I'm going to put a little white onion. A white onion. Boom, boom. What else do you need? Bob's Nothing, your right? uncle. That's all it needs. Maybe a little okay. lime juice? No, this is no? it. No, all right. I'm, I'm just saying maybe that was, you know, maybe on mine. Ta -da. Just a little corner of a wedge of lime. Oh, no? my gosh. All right. I'll do, I I'll do it I, I, for the sake of time, we're having three tacos, all right? There. Look. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. And now oh, our bar. You ready? Sarah and I have been waiting. We've Sarah, been waiting. your We've patience is waiting. going to be rewarded. So patiently. Fine. All right. I have this cute little Otomi, this little Otomi dish. So darling, right? All right. Again, seasonal. Okay, these are our bars. They got, look how the caramelization on the top, you can see from the side, right? All that good stuff. You wanna let these guys sit till they're completely cool. And then you wanna take them out and you get something like this, all right? So this is a K and T, you know, same size baking dish. The only difference is this one is metal, that one's a Pyrex or a borosilicate. So then, Again, remember how we talked about using the um, yep. parchment to get these guys remove. out? Easy peasy pineapple squeezy. All right, okay. I like the centerpiece. When it, we talk about like we have things Who wants corners. it in? I like the I end like, piece. I like okay. The centerpiece. Big knife. I'm going to cut here. I'm going to cut here. I'll take, yeah, don't touch the left side. I'll take that. Okay. That whole piece is, you just leave that guy just like it is. I'll take that one. Did I not cut all the way through? 
Oh, there, there did you, you hear go. it? The crust. Oh, man. Oh, dang. Hold on. Stand by. Oh. There it, it is. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. You've reached separation. Wait, I just want. Look at that. That's oh. that cornstarch, a little layer in there. That's a bar. It's not a square. It's a bar. It's a bar. It's a bar, y'all. Unless Ooh. you cut it in a square, then it can be a square bar. Oh, my God. I'm going to eat this in the middle of the night with a spoon. Okay. I'll put three on this plate. Stop. That's all right. Scream to the mic. No, Sorry, no, you can see that nobody, chunk of pineapple. Saw. You could put these in your little Triton container and take them to work or school or wherever. Ugh, oh, I love it. I love it. Bam. Look at that. Look at that caramelization at that. on the backside of that. That's the piece I it. get. Ah, oh, okay, we did it. We went a little bit over time, but thank you for bearing with me. We got three things, three dishes, pineapple, three different ways. We got the pastor, we got the relish, we got the bars. Oh. Good job, Chef. Hey, don't forget, yeah, if you want to check out more content, go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash H-E-B. And to find out what's coming up next week, and I happen to know a guy, yeah. uh, coming up next week, I can't even believe that we're already to this point in the year, Memorial Day, right around the corner. We're going to do a little barbecue with Chef Charlotte. That's you. We're doing burgers with bacon aioli and a strawberry rhubarb pie, and I maybe um, maybe be making a special cocktail. I don't know. We'll maybe see we'll what make happens. A carrot and Tompkins will talk more about um, his love for avocados. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. My kitchen to yours. Have a good evening. See you next time. Bye.